The Internal Revenue Commission has confirmed that a taxpayer in the retail and wholesale sector whose name is withheld by IRC was recently audited by the Internal Revenue Commission and was found to have deliberately made false declarations to the IRC. IRC stated that making false and misleading statements to the IRC is a serious offence with jail time of up to four years once convicted. The Commission has taken steps to prosecute this case and those responsible for preparing the tax returns to curb this practice and discourage taxpayers from conducting such practices in the future. It's a prevalent activity and people have been going on unabated because IRC hasn't, or they thought that IRC wouldn't have the ability to at least check them or hold them to account. Um, so uh, if we go taxpayer by taxpayer, we will find a lot of similar trends. IRC states that they know that many companies in the retail and wholesale sector are routinely making false declarations and thus are profiling a good number of them. I would warn all the businesses to do the right thing uh, because doing the wrong, wrong thing doesn't pay. It might seem that it's paying for now, but you might end up having your entire business grounded. That's how the tax powers are. Um, so that's, that's the warning I get. According to the IRC, false declarations are designed to reduce a taxpayer's tax liability. The underpayment of tax revenue owed to the government deprives the PNG people of necessary infrastructure, health, education and other public goods. Therefore, IRC is increasing its audit focus on businesses that are flourishing, yet pay little taxes to the government. Mary Silla Kelaton, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.